guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I am doing a topic video on favorite family dynamics in comics and TV. And the person who recommended this was Scotty Showman, and actually he won a contest for this, so that's why this is a topic video. And guys, if you want to recommend any, recommend any topic videos in the comments below, please tell me. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks it'll either be our Comic Uno or Comic Frontline. Uh, Usually Comic Frontline, I have them every Sunday, and Comic Uno, I have them every Thursday. So be sure to recommend away in the comments. I actually have a good amount of recommendations on a list right now, but definitely want more recommendations. That's how the list keeps going. Um, but yeah, so Scotty Showman's recommendation was favorite family dynamic in comics slash TV. Um, I love family dynamics. It's one of my favorite things. I actually wrote a screenplay uh, about a superhero, um, and it's very much about family dynamic uh, dynamics. And one of my favorite superheroes, Spider Girl, has a great family dynamic. So going into that, she's definitely one of my favorites uh, with family. Her family's awesome. Um, we have Peter, MJ, happily ever after, um, and then Benji comes along, and she's a great uh, big sister to him. Um, it's just, it's really fun, and it's also, for superheroes, especially teen superheroes, it seems that they never tell their parents, and obviously, <laughs> Peter actually told May, because Peter was a superhero, uh, but most of the time you always see teen, um, books, it's never really about the family, it's more about hiding from the family. So I do like about Spider Girl is that, yeah, the family knows, it's all their secret, because again, it started with Peter, and then obviously MJ knew, and then May, when she got her powers, found out. Um, about the whole Spider-Man legacy. So I really like that about the family. I think it's interesting to see that. Um, other family dynamics. Gotta think. Um, here's some really cool... Actually, I like Kate's family dynamic, which is weird. Um, Kate Bishop from Hawkeye. Uh, I really like our family dynamic because we don't know much about it. And uh, again, I always mention that. I was like, I kind of want to learn more about the father. I want to learn more about this because you know she is this privileged person. But I want to learn a little bit more about how privileged she is. Does the father know she's uh, Hawkeye? Because, I mean, she's not really keeping a secret identity. So does he know? How does he feel about it? Um, you know, the where we first saw Kate, she was at a wedding for her sister. So uh, I would really like to learn a little bit more about that family dy dynamic, and I feel like it would be an interesting Hawkeye story, especially since the family was already referenced. Uh, so we'd really love to see that. Um, also, family dynamics in a way that um, are not blood relatives in comic books. Uh, one of my favorite is Green Arrow, the Green Arrow family. I, that's one of the reasons I haven't been loving the New 52 version, because there isn't that family dynamic, which I think is so important to Green Arrow, and um, really his book previously. Uh, love Mia Dearden, love Black Canary, which I do feel like is part of the, uh, part of the family. Uh, Connor Hawk, Roy Harper. I just, I just love that dynamic because there's so many different personalities there uh, confronting each other, but they truly are a family, even though they're not really blood related. Um, also, going to the Bat Family. Um, as you guys know, I'm actually a really big Bat Family fan. I'm a big Batman fan, but I'm a humongous Bat Family fan. Um, and I love the, the, the dynamic between all these characters. And once they have a story arc together, I think that's the best. And that's why I'm really looking forward to Batman Eternal, because it's not just a Batman story, it's a Bat Family story. Uh, and I think that does include, you know, Batgirl, Stephanie Brown now, um, going back to pre 2 and now New 52, Tim Drake, uh, Dick Grayson, and really everybody, uh, Cassandra Kane. I would even put James Gordon in there. Uh, so I love that dynamic. Again, even though it's not blood relative, I still count that as a family. And uh, we don't have enough moments with them. So definitely would love to see more, more of that family dynamic moments uh, with Bat Family. Now let's go into TV, uh, my fa favorite family dynamics. Um, I think you can still go with Arrow, them being a, a family dynamic with the Arrow team. Uh, I think a little less than the comic book, but it's growing. And I also love the, the Thea and Oliver dynamic. I think that's a little bit more brother and sister, though, the family. Cause I, Maura, she, <laughs> that's not a great family dynamic. Um, Heroes, of course, love, love uh, Claire and Noah, um, you know, HRG. I think they have a, a really cool family dynamic, especially with Lyle, even though he's not really in the series that often. But the mother, when she finds out um, about Claire and gets divorced with HRG, it's, it's, a it's a really cool story. So I really love um, the Bennett family from Heroes. Um, let's think, what other uh, family di dynamics do I like in TV? I think that's a little bit of a harder one. Um, I'm trying to think on the top of my head. Uh, Nor and A Family I thought was really cool. Really liked their fi family dynamic. I think if 
there was more seasons seasons for it it would have been really cool to see um those characters grow but it was a short-lived show which we were able to see more uh but yeah tv i could probably go on and on should maybe made a list for that a little bit before but uh i love the television family dynamics which i don't think we see uh, enough with television um and comic books i think we just see, see a little bit more family dynamics uh because i think it's such a great theme um and i love it i love reading it uh so please tell me in the comments below what you think what are your favorite favorite family dynamics what family dynamics do you recommend for me to read slash watch uh so please tell me in the comments below and of course i'll have another topic video next sunday for comic frontline next thursday uh for comic uno so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to follow me on twitter for comic uno and the rant situations don't forget to like my facebook page and this is comic uno and comic frontline i'll see you guys later